Hello and welcome back to my channel. So this video is all for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and or Rising signs and what you need to know for this upcoming month of April 2019. Now before I uh, jump into your cards, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go on ahead and do that if you enjoy these videos and want to keep them coming and it would be great if you could also hit that like button too but um i'm not gonna push my luck but thank you guys so much for tuning in like i said this is for my aquariuses so that is if your sun moon or rising sign is in aquarius okay so let's just go ahead and jump right into your cards so the first one that we have here is the world the second one that we have here is the eight of pentacles in reverse such a pretty card the next one that we have here is the Emperor in reverse. And the very last one here that we have is the Seven of Wands in reverse. So don't be worried about all these reversals, honestly, because um, I actually got a great vibe off of Aquarius uh, when I saw the very first card, uh, the world here. So definitely what i'm seeing for aquarius sun moon and or rising for the upcoming month of april 2019 is that uh with this world card the thing that struck me here is like the first thing that i got was oh wow aquarius you guys have been through a lot and i'm not just talking about like in your life as a whole <laughs> i'm not even talking about that i'm just talking about like in the last like a few months or so it's been very intense for uh you guys and I'm I'm just seeing somebody that like no matter what like uh, I'm I'm getting the vibe for Aquarius like the energy of um you know no matter what it is that I go through there's been so many things that have tried to knock me down and I just keep coming back stronger smarter faster wiser better you know like I'm just kind of getting that um kind of energy from this from this spread um and I'm just kind of seeing somebody just like really owning all their strength and just kind of come back and reinvent something in a way. This could have to do with career or a relationship. I don't know. I really kind of got, I, I'm really kind of getting the vibe that is definitely career based for you guys, for, for my Aquarius signs. Um, I don't know why. It, it just could be something that it is you're focused on. It could be a project. It could be something as serious as a career. It could be school. I mean, it could also be other aspects of your life. I'm just getting that career is kind of strong for uh some of you here possibly for most of you but um the other things that i'm seeing let me just go ahead and get through this uh with this eight of pinnacles in reverse what i was getting with this eight of pinnacles in reverse um i love this card it's so beautiful but what i was getting with this card here specifically is that there is almost like it's just the word reinvention like reinvention re redoing something in a sense where it's like you keep coming back it's almost as if you have like nine lives within this one particular um in this one particular uh part of your life like it's just like something you just will not stop going at is something that you will not stop um pursuing and with this eight of pentacles in reverse i'm seeing that you have literally learned and retained everything that there is to know and there's not much more <laughs> that you really n probably could study or really need to know at this time. I really feel like at this time, you know enough to really get you through um, what's coming up here within the next uh, month or so. So another thing that I got with this Eight of Pentacles um, in reverse is that I see you um, also kind of kind of um keeping this kind of almost like reinvention of yourself i'm i'm seeing you like really want to keep it to yourself with these three cards being in reverse here i'm really seeing you want like i'm i'm seeing you like almost like a video game like okay that last round messed me up because i did this this and this now i see where i went wrong so i need to change up this this and this in order to beat this level right and that's how i'm kind of seeing you handle this and it's and it doesn't shock me because aquarius you guys are so detached from emotions that you guys almost view life in this um in this kind of third person perspective where it's like you guys aren't necessarily emotionally attached you guys are pretty practical 
and very, a very, very, very highly intelligent sign um, within the zodiac system. So, um, and and that's probably a lot of the reason why you guys are so logical. But I'm seeing you guys come back in a sense where it's like, yeah, I've been through it, but I'm coming back. Like it's it's not really emotionally affecting you. I d I'm not really getting, but um. I'm seeing that you guys really want to keep these things to yourself that it is that you're trying to kind of reinvent and um, repurpose in a sense. So with this uh, Emperor card in reverse, I'm getting another sense of uh, restructuring. You're going through some sort of restructuring like, okay, last time that's what messed me up. So I'm going to do it differently. It's almost like I'm I'm seeing you shift your focus cuz with the 7 of wands here for sure that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you literally take the bullseye and kind of position it to a different target and say that's the real target. That's what I need to that's what I need to um hit in order for me to make my mark, in order for me to uh, accomplish my goal, that's the, that's the new target here. And I'm seeing that you kind of have realized this. And another thing with the world is that um, a, a symbol behind the world, symbolism behind the world is like things kind of coming full circle. So, um, I, and that's the energy that I'm getting from this entire spread is like, oh, now I get it. Now I see it. Now I know the real target. Now I know what I need to focus on in order to accomplish this goal. So I'm really seeing you guys kind of shift your focus slightly um, coming up for April. But it's not shifting your focus as in your goals are changing or your aspirations are changing. I'm seeing you shift your goals so you can achieve those goals and aspirations. Okay, so let's get to your oracle cards here. The first one that we have is sixth house routine. So this could be um, what you what you change up, honestly, because the sixth house um, in astrology has to do with our day to day schedule, our day to day routine, what it is that we do when it comes down to work, how we take care of our bodies, how we take care of our emotional health, how we speak to ourselves. Like it, sixth house has everything to do with just what we do day to day, the mundane things. And they seem like small, mundane, irrelevant things. But the things that we do every single day serve a really huge purpose and they impact us in a really huge way because we do them so often. So I'm that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a complete restructuring here. And I'm not shocked that the sixth house came up for your um for your uh sign here. Uh, the next oracle card that we have here is you know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Yeah, so whatever it is you feel that you need to kind of switch up or or switch your focus on, go on ahead and do it ASAP because um, I'm, I'm definitely seeing that uh, that's kind of where the energy is going to be centered on for this upcoming month of April. And then the last um, card that we have here is Hathor receptivity allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition energy and ability to give to others okay so this is this is this is going to be a, a great time for you this is going to be a time where it's like whatever it is you're going to be switching something up and i see this working out very well for you especially with this re receptivity card here where um I'm seeing that things are going to be coming to you, you know, um, by you kind of, like I said, you're kind of like treating this like a video game, like, oh, now I know what I need to do. And now I am seeing that I'm seeing you switch around things, switch around your sixth house, switch around your routine, switch around the things that it is that you know you need to do. And because of that, I, I do believe that you're going to start receiving a lot of amazing things um, in your life, opportunities even, um, and so I'm really excited for my Aquarius, the sun, moon, and or rising sign uh, for this upcoming month of April. So that's all that I have for you guys' sign. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will be back next time and you guys have an amazing April. Okay, bye.